My will is not my own, is yours. Zer's back and hanging around Watcher's grave on Nessus in his favourite tree. He loves that tree. Each week he'll appear at 2am Pacific, 5am Eastern and 10am GMT with a bunch of new exotic gear to spend your shards on, and we're here to tell you what you should buy. Zer's super easy to find this week, just spawn at Watcher's grave, head forward past the two white columns and lean gently to your right until you see Zer's favourite tree. Get climbing and then get buying. It's a good week for booms this week as Zer's got the Prospector for 29 shards, an exotic grenade launcher that turns pretty much anything downwind of you into a thin paste of bits and regret. It's got an extended magazine, an increased blast radius and can go full auto when you hold the trigger down. Plus it'll detonate all the grenades you fired when you release the trigger. Elsewhere it's a mega helmet remix with three very familiar hats. Titans get an insurmountable skull fort, which is great if you like a bit of arc as it'll charge arc abilities faster, boost health regeneration on arc melee kills and top up your melee energy as well. Hunters get foe tracer which marks enemies you target and gives you a damage boost to low health enemies and warlocks get eye of another world which highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee and rift abilities. But you should know all this by now what with most of these helmets being on at least their third rotation in Zer's cape. You'd better start rattling those pockets to see what else falls out or I'll be taking my shards elsewhere. Let us know what you're picking up or regret buying in the comments and we'll see you next week for more Galactic Shopping Channel goodness. Click the boxes on the left for more content from us including a lot more Destiny 2 and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on GamesRadar Plus.